In today's video, I'm going to try to find the source of a cylinder misfire on my 1997 Chevrolet Camaro with a 3.8 liter V6 motor. It generally misfires under load up a hill, so let's see what happens. Yep, misfires backfired. It's running fine right now because it's running over 2,000 RPM. It's under 2,000. It has a tendency to sputter. So here we are, under 2,000. I'm gonna give it some gas. Yep. Bad misfire. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's just going. It's not happy. Here we go. Cylinder misfire blinking check engine light. When it blinks like that, it tells you you've got a bad misfire. Thanks. I know. Sitting here at idle, it, it does just fine. Real quick, I'm going to check this code and see what it says. Okay, so just check the check engine light code and it's a P0305, which is cylinder five misfire. I have checked the wires and I've checked the plugs on this because I've already been kind of looking into this and the plugs and the wires all check out fine. So here's my thought process. You gotta have fuel, you gotta have air, you gotta have spark, and you gotta have compression. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that I still got compression and figure that I have an electrical or a fuel delivery issue. So one of the easiest things to do is check the coil, just to kind of test it and make sure it's not bad. If it's bad, I've got a replacement, I'll just replace it and we're good to go. And if the coil's not the problem, then well, we gotta dig a little deeper and figure out what's going on. I'm gonna go ahead and get the coil off and I'm gonna get my tester out and we're gonna test to see if the coil's any good. So my coils are located right here on the driver's side of the engine. I've got a 730 seconds socket for these two bolts. There's one in between the plugs and one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out. So I decided to go ahead and pull all of the coil packs off and test them individually. I've got my multimeter here set to 20K. I'm gonna check the secondaries. These should register anywhere from five to 10K. And as you can see here, it registers 5.96. So the secondaries here are good. I'm gonna flip this thing over and test the primaries. Now the slots are a little too thin for my probes. So I found these picture hanger pieces of metal in my toolbox and I'm gonna use those to stick down in there. I'm gonna put my probes on those and test. I'm gonna switch this down to 200 and these should be 0.2 to 0.7. And as you can see, it looks good. So this coil is good. And I did the exact same thing for the other two coils and they all tested just fine as well. So all three coils are testing within the proper parameters. So why is this thing still misfiring? Okay, I still am not convinced that it is not an electrical issue. One of the reasons why I think that is because I do smell a little bit of gas when it's misfiring. So I think it's improper spark and the cylinder is probably flooding a little bit because it's not igniting the fuel. Cylinder five is what is misfiring. So what I'm gonna do is swap the coil pack for cylinders two and five with a coil pack for cylinders six and three. When I swap these over, if it is indeed a coil pack issue, the misfire will move to cylinder three. If it's still in cylinder number five, we know it's not the coil pack and we've got a bigger issue. All right, so let's go wrenching and give this a try. Okay, so I swapped the coil from cylinders five and two with cylinders three and six. So if the misfire follows the coil, it should be cylinder number three. That should be misfiring now. So we'll go test out this theory and see if it comes to fruition. Let's go take it for a ride and see what happens. Okay, we're back up on the road. We're gonna go up this hill. I'm gonna give it some gas. Let's see if it misfires like it did before. Yep. It is really sputting. Yeah, the whole car's vibrating. Bad sputter. There goes the check engine light. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and read this code and see what it tells me. Okay, so good news, the misfire is now in cylinder three. All right then, well, it's definitely the coil that rules out the spark plugs and the spark plug wires. So 
swapping the coil over definitely shows me it is a coil issue. It's weird how it tested fine, but the coil is definitely not working. So anyway, let's put the new coil on and fix this problem. Let's go wrenching. All right, new coil's going on. Since cylinder three was misfiring, I'm going to go ahead and just replace that coil. I'm not going to swap them back to where they were. All right, got the bolts tightened down, plug wires back on. Let's fire this thing up and see what it does. All right, went ahead and cleared the light. Let's go take it for a spin. All right, just backing up and pulling down my driveway, I could already tell a difference. But really, the proof is in the pudding. Let's go tackle that hill. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Yes. No more misfire. Yeah, buddy. All right, zero to 60 up a hill. Here we go. No more misfires. All right. All right, made it back to the house and there is no check engine light. Success. Huh, I just noticed something. This is the cylinder number five coil. Check out right there. You see that? I just now noticed that. There's a crack. So I guess that makes sense because I tested this with my multimeter and it tested fine. But when this thing's running, it's probably arcing out of this spot right here and shorting out this coil and causing that misfire. It tested just fine otherwise. So there we go, a crack in the housing. Well, it's like they say, crack kills. So as you saw, swapping the coil over with the other one, the misfire followed the coil. So bad coil, that's all there is to it. She's running fine now after a $42 coil. Probably should replace the other two, but I'm going to be replacing this motor eventually anyway, so I really don't care. Uh, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Check out the channel. If you like the other videos you see there and you're so inclined, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell so you'll be notified when I post new content. Check out the merch store in the store shelf below. And as always, thanks for watching. God bless. Be sure to hit that like switch on your way out. We'll see you next time.